Welcome to Ochenta Stories. Recorded in bedrooms, living rooms, and balconies in lockdown around the world. In each standalone piece, artists, writers, creators, podcasters, and more answer the question, what do you want to hear when this pandemic is over? I'm your host this week, Lori Martinez. And this week's story comes to us from Brooklyn, New York. With many cities going back into lockdown in the past couple of weeks, we don't know what the future holds. So, for those of us that wish we had instructions on how to weather the pandemic, Call From Ahead is a sci-fi tale about a New York couple in lockdown that receives a message from the future. This story, originally in English, has been adapted into Spanish, and you can hear that version later on in the episode. So without further ado, here is Call From Ahead. Brooklyn, New York, South Williamsburg. The JMZ subway runs slower than usual because of quarantine. Still, for a struggling couple and their child, the sound of the elevated subway cars is smoothing, almost swaying. The sound, for them, always felt like home. Ugh, coming. Huh, no one. Oh, what's this, books? Love, wake up. Someone's left a box with both our names on it. No sender. Did you order anything? What? Oh, it's a recorder. Come, come. Huh, a legit phone message recorder. Like those from way back. It even has a cassette inside, should we? We're quarantined. I'm jobless. We just stopped having symptoms. The kid is finally asleep. And we might not be able to pay rent next month. So, yeah, plug it in. What's the worst that could happen? Message 1 of 7, April 10th, 2024. Hi, Sophie. I won't make it to our meeting today. Someone got the new fourth COVID mutation down on the second floor at my office. So they closed the entire building and are doing the whole process. You know, three tests, two shots. Everyone's scanned. Hope your life is okay and that um, Jacob misses me as much as I miss him. We will have to reschedule. Also, I want you to know that I miss you. What in the hell? Is that a prank game? No. What? I swear to God, why would I? When? That's not me, is it? Of course it's you. At least you have a job in that recording. Play another one, there's more. Message 2 of 7, April 11th, 2024. Hi Gabriel, thanks for your message. That quarantine broke us, I know. It's been four years and we built our separate lives and... I feel we never learned the lesson from it all, did we? Your son is doing fine, by the way. Talk soon. That's my voice. I never... This isn't real. I've never said anything like that before. Wait, four years? I don't. It seems we're broken up. I'm freaking out. Message 3 of 7, April 12th, 2024. Hi, Sophie. I keep getting your voicemail. I I missed my flight to New York. They stopped me because I brushed someone else and now I'm stuck in Tokyo for one more day. I I miss Jacob and, to be honest, I wanted to meet you in person. Um, Remember that day we made our first banana bread ever? It was during the first quarantine. We started making it all the time since then. I still do it these days on my own. Wait, we made that banana bread last night. Message 4 of 7. No date. Hello, valued customer. Our brand is here for you. We have not forgotten how the world has changed since the great pandemic five years ago. Remember how our CBD oil-infused face masks helped you through those tough times? Well, now you can feel normal with us as well. We don't discriminate. Whether you are an infect or a non-infect, you can still shop and follow us everywhere. Remember... Stay healthy, buy healthy. Well, that sucked. Message 5 
of 7 April 7th, 2039. This is on, right? Uh, yes. Well, I guess, hi, Sophie, it's me. I mean, you. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but our son Jacob sent us this machine from the future. I haven't seen him in a long time. Things have changed so much. He sent it with a message meant for when I was in the pandemic. And it makes sense. So I'm trying to forward it to somehow... Message 6 of 7, April 7th, 2039. Sorry, I'm not sure how this thing works entirely. I think you're in the middle of the 2020 pandemic. Or maybe about to get back to what you think is normality. There will be recessions, monuments. They will make movies, memorials and ceremonies. All the people will act as if nothing profound ever happened including you. Acting like nothing happened will take a toll on you, on your relationship, on your family. In fact, that's what... What the hell was that? That was you from the future? This is crazy. No one will ever believe us. What the hell? Let's figure it out. It can't be a prank. Maybe it's a deep fake thing or something. Gabe, I think we need to listen to all of it. It feels too detailed to be some messed up joke. These are the headlines for December 30th, 2039. Today is Dr. Lee Wenliang International Holiday, commemorated across the globe on the day that this Chinese physician first alerted about a possible outbreak of an illness that resembled severe acute respiratory syndrome, later acknowledged as COVID-19. That was exactly 20 years ago today. His name is engraved in history. And now, today's message from history comes from former President Andrew Cuomo, who used to hold a daily press conference during the worst moments of the original strain of COVID-19. Back then, he was governor of New York. You know, as a general rule, what we do today will determine tomorrow. The future is really in our hands. And we're going to get through this. We, we can control the beast because we are New York tough. Okay, whatever this thing is, we need to know why it reached us here today. Yeah, well, it's obvious, no? We're broken up in the future. Let's just listen to the last message. Maybe it explains more. Message 7 of 7, July 10th, 2040. Mom and Dad, this is Jacob. My friend and I at MIT came up with this prototype. I can't quite explain what it is, but if it works, it'll change everything. So, here goes nothing. I'm sending it because your divorce and the way it happened really affected all of us. Irrevocably. Guys, take it slow once the quarantine ends. You have to look after each other. Mom, don't drive fast. Dad, forget the hamster wheel. Remember that what is happening to you at this moment is in fact changing your existence. I hope this message gets you in time. I don't even know if it'll work. But then again, that's what hope is, right? Treat each other patiently. Always question why you are in the world you are. But do so lovingly. Together. If you work on being better humans, and to each other, You'll do a better job at raising me, but most importantly, my baby sister, Anna. I do this for her, more than anything. Go prep that banana bread, like you did that first time at quarantine. Repurpose your life. Make plans together. Go build yourselves a new life. End of message. Ahora, llamada del mañana. Escrito por Diego Señor y presentado por Mariana Velázquez, Jessica Van Campen, Paula Lavendegar, Diego Patiño y Sebastián Nicolás. Brooklyn, Nueva York, sur de Williamsburg, en la línea JMZ del metro. Los trenes corren más lento de lo normal debido a la cuarentena. Sin embargo, para una pareja trabajadora y su hijo de pocos años de edad, 
El ruido del tren elevado es suave, casi melodioso. De hecho, a estas tres personas en particular, ese ruido del tren les revive su sentimiento familiar y hogareño. Ah, ¡Ya voy! Um, no hay nadie. Oh, ¿qué es esto? ¿Libros? Sofía, amor, despierta. Alguien dejó una caja con nuestros nombres sin remitente. ¿Pediste algo? Es una grabadora. Sofía, ven. Ja, es una grabadora de mensajes telefónicos como las antiguas. Incluso tiene un casete adentro. ¿Lo ponemos? Déjame ver. Estamos en cuarentena. Estoy sin trabajo. Acabamos de dejar de tener síntomas. El niño finalmente se ha dormido. Y puede que no vayamos a pagar la renta este mes que viene. Así que, pues sí, escuchémoslo. ¿Qué es lo peor que podría pasar? Mensaje 1 de 7, 10 de abril de 2024. Hola, Sofía. No llegaré a nuestra reunión de hoy. Alguien se contagió con la cuarta mutación del COVID en el segundo piso de la oficina, así que cerraron todo el edificio. Y están haciendo todo el proceso. Tres pruebas, dos inyecciones, todos los escaneos, ya sabes. Espero que tu vida esté bien, que Jacobo me eche tanto de menos como yo a él, y tendremos que reprogramar. Además, quiero que sepas que me haces falta. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Es una broma, Gaby? No, no es una broma. Lo juro por Dios. ¿Cómo así? ¿Por qué lo haría? ¿Cuándo? No soy yo, ¿verdad? Por supuesto que eres tú. Al menos tienes un trabajo en esa grabación. Toca otra y más. Mensaje 2 de 7, 11 de abril de 2024. Hola, Gabriel. Gracias por tu mensaje. Esa cuarentena nos arruinó. Lo sé. Han pasado cuatro años y hemos construido nuestras vidas separadas. Y siento que nunca aprendimos la lección de todo esto, ¿verdad? Por cierto, tu hijo está bien. Hasta pronto. ¡Esa es mi voz! Yo nunca... No, esto no puede ser real. Nunca he dicho nada como eso. Espera, ¿cuatro años? Yo no. No, parece que nosotros nos hubiéramos separado. No, esto es terrible. Mensaje 3 de 7... 12 de abril de 2024. Sofía, hola. Sigo recibiendo tu correo de voz. Perdí mi vuelo a Nueva York. Me detuvieron porque me rocé con alguien y ahora estoy bloqueado, trabado aquí en Tokio durante varios días más. Extraño a Jacobo y, para ser honesto, quería verte en persona. ¿Recuerdas el día que hicimos nuestro primer pan de banano? Fue durante la cuarentena, la primera cuarentena. Empezamos a hacerlo todo el tiempo de ahí en adelante. De hecho, todavía lo hago yo a solas. Mensaje 4 de 7 sin fecha. Hola, estimado cliente. Nosotros y nuestras marcas estamos aquí para ti. No hemos olvidado cómo ha cambiado el mundo desde la gran pandemia de hace unos años. ¿Recuerdas cómo nuestras máscaras faciales con aceite de CBD te ayudaron en esos tiempos difíciles? Bueno, ahora también puedes vivir el nuevo normal con nosotros, a tu lado. No discriminamos, así seas un infecto o un no infectado. Siempre vas a poder comprar nuestros productos, consumirlos y seguirnos en redes. Recuerda, mantente sano, compra sano. Ah, bueno, eso está frito. Mensaje 5 de 7, 7 de abril de 2039. Creo que esto está prendido, ¿verdad? Sí, supongo. Ok, hola Sofía, soy yo. Pues, soy tú. No puedo creer que esté a punto de decirte esto. Pero nuestro hijo Jacob nos envió esta máquina desde, supongo, el futuro. No lo he visto hace mucho tiempo, las cosas han cambiado tanto. Lo envió con un mensaje para cuando yo estaba en la pandemia y tiene sentido. Así que estoy tratando de reenviártelo. Mensaje 6 de 7. 7 de abril de 2039. Ah, lo siento, no estoy segura de cómo funciona esto muy bien. Creo que estás en el medio de la pandemia del 2020. O tal vez estás a punto de volver a lo que crees que es la normalidad. Habrá recesiones, habrá películas, monumentos y ceremonias. Toda la gente actuará como si nada profundo. 